Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're diving into one of my favorite topics, is the autumn fashion trend for 2024. And you believe it's autumn already? We've only got a few weeks and the stores have already got their autumn collection in. And I love this season only because you could just layer up and I love my outerwear. The colors for this season are perfect autumn colors that you'd expect. So before we jump in, let's talk about the summer this year. It has been so hot. I've literally just been living in my shorts and t-shirts. So it'll be nice to kind of change out my wardrobe for something a little bit more sophisticated and put together. Don't you feel like autumn's the season that you're gonna actually show off your outfits? And I think we're going into stores like Mango, Zara, Kos. I feel like they've done such a perfect job to help you incorporate those little trends. Oh, and before we do jump in, I just noticed that some of you who are watching aren't subscribed and it would really help my channel out if you did subscribe. One, you won't miss my new videos if you click onto the notification. And secondly, it'd be nice to form a little community of like-minded people. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, this first trend is probably one of my favorite and I saw this last year, but only a glimpse of this color. So as you can guess, I don't know if you could guess this, but it's literally this burgundy rich dark red color and you can incorporate this in your outfits in so many different ways from shoes, from cardigans, from accessories, probably the best way if you are not too keen on the color, but just want to kind of bring it in subtly. So I'm showing you a few pieces that I'm currently loving that are in store at the moment. So this dark, deep red is like a classic autumn color. I feel like if you just incorporate these accent pieces, they really make a big difference to your outfit. Chanel had this beautiful plum red color last year as part of the classic Chanel colors. I fell in love, but I didn't get it only because I was um and anaring about the color. And now I'm like kicking myself thinking I really should have got that. It would work so perfectly right now. So Tom Ford showed this look off on the runway and it's all different shades of dark reds. It looks gorgeous, but I don't think I could pull this kind of look off. So what I take from this is that the skirt and the shoes and the bags, and this gives you an idea of how to wear the colors together. I think the boots are really stunning and the oversized bag really does pull it up. And I also found something quite similar on the high street that I thought you might like. This is from Other Stories and it's a rich, dark burgundy, chunky knit cardigan and these beautiful slim bags and they would go perfectly with some wide leg jeans, dark blue jeans. And I feel like your look for autumn is just complete. If I was going to adopt this trend, I would definitely use it as accent colors and accessorize with shoes and bags and even like a scarf if you wanted to. Also, Mango have something similar that could also work with your shoes and bags. Okay, now for your next trend, trend number two. This is the gorgeous green color in different tones. This color definitely crept in previously, but now we're really seeing a lot of olive greens and different shades of tones of greens. Moss green, pistachio green, and I feel like the muted greens are so versatile and there's definitely a shade for everybody. Personally, I like the dark emerald rich green, but also if I was gonna go for something light, so I ordered this co-old set from Accessories and it's a light pistachio color for summer. And I love Stella McCartney's version of the co-old set. The horse print on this looks so beautiful. And it just goes to show that you can wear different shades of green together. So Miu Miu showcased a range of greens from fluorescent lime green to muted dark green. And Tom Ford actually displayed the same with darker shades of green. So if you're not a green kind of girl, I think the best way to incorporate this trend is probably just having a accent color, or if you're brave enough, Mango has this gorgeous pistachio green Mac that you could just throw over your outfit. And if you're a little bit more braver than that and you feel like you could go for a little bit of a brave color, like a fluorescent green, then the cropped jacket will do perfectly. Or if you wanted the muted look, you could have like a mesh green polo underneath like a dark blazer. So you're still looking stylish and on trend without breaking the budget. Trend number three. Now, so although this is a little bit unexpected, it's making a comeback. I'm not a big skirt kind of girl, but recently my body shape is changing and I felt like this trend is really working in my favor and it's the long skirt with a slit. So it's like a full skirt. So like I said, I wasn't a big fan of these skirts, but I recently purchased one from Other Stories and it's probably one of the best skirts I've ever purchased. It's this, It's pretty long, no slits at the back. It's got these perfect pockets, pockets at the front. It's more of a light wash denim skirts. You could pair this up with knee high boots underneath. I think like 
browns are in at the moment as well. So um, Stuart Wiseman has these beautiful croc brown knee-high boots with a small kitten heel. And I and put this on with a polo neck in the winter thrown over with a coat, perfect. And I feel like the denim skirt's more appropriate for the autumn month because they're a little bit more structured and a thicker material. And this is such an easy trend to wear in the autumn. Everyone can wear them. Okay, now trend number four. Now this has been going on for a long time and I feel like it's not really a trend. It's like, okay, let's bring it into the next season. It's the puffer jackets. So you'll be glad to hear that you keep hold of your crop jackets for the moment. So they also have crop trench, which I showed in my previous video with Mango and Victoria Beckham's collaboration. I don't actually own a Pico. I was never really into them, but now looking at them and thinking how I can style them, I think I probably may be brave to actually bring this into my autumn winter wardrobe. So the difference now with these peacoats is that I feel like they've given a, a modern update to the jackets. And because it's a transitional coat, I feel like the length is perfect because you don't wanna be having to wear something a little bit more heavy and long. Trend number five is the fur coats. Now fur coats, I'm sure everybody has one in their closet. I definitely have, but I've never had much of a chance to wear them. I probably wore mine twice and that's once every year since I've had it. It actually gives a mob wife look, which I'm not really into. So this is my fur coat. This is beautiful. It actually comes with arms, but I've taken them off because I feel like in this season I, with the arms on, it's a little bit too heavy. So I usually wear it like this thrown over a dress for the evening. And if I wanted to, I could even make it shorter from here i could take this much show you that i could take off this much so it becomes more of a cropped fur jacket the trend number six is the high collars and i love high collars polar neck dresses coats anything that covers my neck i'm in for it i just feel like they're so sleek and sophisticated now in terms of the high collars we can see them on coats shirts dresses so Celine and Miu Miu have showcased this in their runway, but I just feel like this time the high neck has been taken just an inch higher and that's why it's more of an exaggerated look. So you're also going to see this in the coats with scarves. So the scarves literally just cover the bottom of your chin and Toten did this a little while ago and it was a huge trend, but you'll be seeing a lot more of this in Massimo, in Zara, in the high street in general. And I think it's gonna be one of the high street staple coats because I just feel it's so cozy and elegant. And trend number seven, you've got the elevated basics. Just means that your t-shirts, your blazers, your trousers, slightly elevated to make it look a little bit more sophisticated. So you can bring in your pieces that you've had for summer into autumn. Trend number eight, which is your tailored blazers and trousers. Again, all the way through summer, you've seen that with the waistcoats outfit, I'll post you some of the outfits that I've had. And I feel like, again, perfect because you don't wanna be wasting your money on new trends. So if you can incorporate something that's been there for last summer, why not bring it into autumn? And it's such a polished look and I feel like this one won't go out of trend. Trend number nine, which is the fringe detail. I must admit, it's not something I'll be incorporating, but I just wanted to show you if you were a fringe kind of girl, it can look nice on others, but personally, that's not my style. So I thought I'd share that one with you. Now, trend number 10, is the cropped jackets. Now that could be, like I said before, the bomber jackets, the cropped trench. There's so much around and there's a few on the high street that you can also find that are a little bit more structured. And I feel like these cropped jackets can look so beautiful on these tailored trousers. It just elevates your outfit. And also I feel like it gives you height. If you're wearing high-waisted trousers and you've got a cropped um, jacket, it just makes you look a lot longer. So there you have it. That's my top 10 trends for autumn. I hope you find some inspiration here and that you're excited to incorporate those autumn trends. And if you do, please can you send me a message? Either just do it on Instagram, DM me for what you've got. Hopefully, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye.